<laughs> okay, hello. Sorry, I'm uh, having too much fun. So, this fun tool is called Snap Camera, but don't get too excited because it's going away as of January 25th, 2023, which is the month I'm recording this in. It's going away. Um, so we're going to talk about what the heck is going on and what, if any, options you have um, and all that kind of good stuff. So let's go ahead and get this party started, shall we? Ah, when technology fights back. Okay, we'll start that from here. We'll, we'll, we'll just cut off the rest and, and use this. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Welcome. So this particular fun tool, Snapchat, um, Snap Camera, sorry, should be very specific about this. Snap Camera is going away on January 25th, 2023. So don't get too excited. As cool as this looks, mm, limited options going forward. So we're going to talk about what's going on, what, if any, options you have going forward and that kind of thing as we do around here. Uh, so for anybody who's new here, welcome, welcome. All righty, let's, let's dive into this. So um, the beginning, so obviously, right, I am a user. I have this installed. I registered it. They have all my information. The only reason I found out about this going away is because I happened to trip across a conversation on the internet, which I find really weird personally, because you would think that if you're going to depreciate a tool that people are using, you kind of want to give them a heads up. So I want to show you what happened when I reached out for information because it was really hard for me to get confirmation about this. So hang on, let me switch over. Hopefully this part's going to work. Please work. I'm in the middle of still, I'm still trying to change my systems over. So things are a little messed up. Okay. So because I wasn't finding any information, I decided I was going to go to their support, which turns out they don't really have a lot of support except on Twitter. Uh, so I said, okay, you know, is the, to this uh, snap camera for desktop really going away or is it just a rumor? And they replied with, hey, can you send us a DM and we'll try to help. I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird. It's sort of a yes or no question, but fine. So I went into the DMs and I said, okay, here's the question again. Is it a rumor? And they gave me a canned answer. Okay. So on January 20, it's going to be a little hard to read. It's from my um, phone, so it's a little pixelated. Uh, on January 25th, 2023, Snap Camera will no longer be available to use or download. That's a key phrase there. We're going to get into that in a minute. Uh, we'll be bringing more focus to other products and features that will be beneficial to our Snapchatters. While Snap Camera will no longer be available, you can continue to use lenses on your computer with Snapchat for web. We're going to talk about all of that. But me being who I am, I couldn't just let it go there. So I said, okay. Um, just curious, why didn't you answer with this information on the original post? Why did we have to move it to DM? Now, I want to show you the timeline here. I posted the DM like they asked on a Friday, and they answered in about 24 hours on Saturday. On Sunday, I asked why this had to be a private conversation and am still waiting for an answer. I don't think I'm ever going to get one, do you? I don't think it's going to happen. So again, this is a very weird approach to depreciating a tool because as you noted, it said that not only will you not be able to download it anymore, but it's going to stop working. Now, hang on, because I am going to give you, I found an alternative, so we'll get to that. Um, and as always, all the links are in the description, but this is not how I think people should treat their audience. So let's, let's just back up a little bit and talk about um, the reference that they made to, uh, you'll be able to use lenses on your computer with Snapchat for web. I have a problem with the way this is phrased because it makes it sound like it's going to be a replacement for this. And it's not. What's happening is they're taking this off completely. So what's happening here is I have this application installed on my computer and let me show you the app. Hang on. And I will say, I kind of wondered if something was up because the app has been acting a little funky for a while and nothing's been fixed, but let me just show you. So this is what the app looks like. Let me take that off. So what happens is this becomes another camera source on your computer. And so obviously I'm not using my real camera, um, my real camera, 
like this is a fake camera. It's well, it's sort of a fake camera. So I'm not using my usual uh, streaming camera for this. Um, I'm just using the Logitech Brio because what you have to do is you have to connect it to a particular camera or webcam or something like that in order to get this animated thing. Um, and then basically you can just go ahead and do whatever you want. I saved a few um, of my favorites. So let me just show you. So not only can I do this, not only can I do this live streaming and it keeps up with me, but you can actually change on the fly. So for example, um, if I decided I wanted to be a blueberry, I'm now a blueberry, but you see like, not only is it keeping my face so you can see me talking, but it's actually like moving. Like I can go up and down and left and right. I'm just wiggling around in my chair and you can see all this kind of stuff here. Um, same if I decide that all of a sudden I want to be scuba diving because I haven't been to the beach in far too long. Now you can't see my lips moving, but you can see the, the respirator moving, which is kind of cool. Now these are the higher end kind of um, filters that you were able to use for live, so you could use this for live streaming. You could use this on a Zoom call. Um, I use this with like friends and family a lot, but I also did an entire Twitch stream using this. And I made believe as my audience was desperately telling me that something was wrong. <laughs> I made believe I had no idea what they were talking about. It drove them a little crazy, I have to admit, but it was fun because it was, you know, it was um, t t Twitch, sorry, Twitter, Twitch. It was Twitter, we, you know, we get together every Friday and we just goof around and have a good time. And I was feeling silly. So I did this for an entire show, which I'm doing now here because if it's gonna go away, I wanna get some more use out of it. Um, so let's look at another one. So, okay, so yes, like I said, these are the animated ones. Now, so, not all the filters are, you know, that awesome. Some of them are just a static picture, right? That travels with you, but there's no real animation other than it does track with your face. And there was quite a few of these out there. Um, I didn't particularly like those. You could also do things that would bring, see, it's just me again. Um, it would bring, you know, a background, which worked out pretty good. Like, I know none of this is perfect, right? So let's talk about that. So, you know, nothing is perfect in this, right? So you're seeing like, I'm getting a little weird pixelation here. Um, it's not happening now. Before I was getting some weird lines behind me because of my background not being a solid. It, for some reason, now it's happier about it. Is that maybe a little bit there? Okay, so yeah, a little bit. See, like how this, uh, this one here, wait, wrong hand. <laughs> so you see how like this tile on the wall is like morphing and changing shapes as I move. Um, same thing with the stuff over here, like you see some, so it's, you know, it was never perfect, but it was really, really good. Like this is really good as keeping up with me. Um, and you know, if I stay pretty still, you know, that it, it comes across pretty well. Uh, so it was fun and it worked and it was a nice way to go. And then you had other things like this. Um, right. So here, let me come back to the, the main shot, right? So, you know, if you were having a party online, you know, you could do this kind of thing with it. <laughs> so there were a lot of, you know, different options. Um, there were ones that were created by, you know, professionals working, I'm guessing for, so this was by the way, owned by Snapchat. Um, is owned by Snapchat. So it was probably their professional folks that were doing it like they do for uh, the actual app. Um, but then also people in the community were able to uh, create their own. And so like I said, some of them were more like just a mask that would, you know, track with your face, but it wouldn't actually move. And then there were things like this that actually moved, which was way cool and fun. So yes, the bummer is that it is going away and there's nothing we can do about that. <laughs> um, so hang on a second here. Okay. So of course, when something like this happens, I like to be able to come to you and say, okay, so this is going away, but here are your options. And you kind of sort of have options, but they're not, they're not super awesome, except for one, which is a little geeky, but stick with me. It, it might work. Hey, Jason, how you doing? Uh, one sec. See, even the cough looked normal. Um, so I started looking around and I saw references to apps like Crazy Talk and Face Ring. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Like I started to get like lists of things to go check out. Well, the problem is most of those, like in particular Crazy Talk and Face Ring have already also been discontinued. So those were not super options because hey, they're already gone. Uh, so let me show you, um, well, actually before I go that far, let me just show you, this is, this camera. Um, so this is the Snapchat on the web thing that they were talking about um, and what they referenced, but it is very clearly just about using Snapchat from your computer. So doing all the things you're used to doing with Snapchat, the app on your mobile device, um, doing it from your computer. 
what that doesn't do is it doesn't give you a feed like this does so that you can do things live, right? Or recorded. So that's, I'm sorry, that's where I was going. So that's how I'm actually doing this now. So I installed the application and then I said, okay, you know, when you're, when I activate this application, use the Logitech Brio. And then from that point on, Snap Camera became another camera source on my computer, which I could then bring into Zoom or Teams or my streaming tool, which is um, vMix. You could also use it in StreamYard. You could use it in um, OBS. So any, anything that you can take a video source in on, a, a camera source, you could use this on. So, and that's not the case with this thing, right? So this is just using Snapchat, the app on your computer. It's not at all about using this type of a tool that we're playing with here tonight. Um, and I think that that was misleading on their part. And so I wanted to point that out to you because I don't like when people are being misleading. Okay. So as I mentioned, I went looking for other things. Most of the things I found are also already discontinued. Um, I did find two that I'm going to talk about. Uh, one in particular is probably a little closer to this, um, but not I played with it. It's it's good, but not quite as much. But let's start off with this one. So this is called, come back here. There we go. Uh, so this is called UCAM. And again, all of the links are in my in the description. So you can go ahead and get those there. Um, so this is one, they're specifically targeting it, you know, so there's, you know, streamers, bloggers, vloggers, there's home users, there's business users, uh, and you can go ahead and check it out. It provides some functionality but not exactly the same kind of animated filters, right? So you can add emojis to your stream, you can add video effects, but not quite like what we're doing here tonight. You can, you know, play around with skin smoothing and you can do makeup, which, you know, okay. So it's probably like, you know, just to, to look a little different. Um, I do have to tell you that I tried on multiple computers to get this installed so I could test drive it and it would not install for me. Now, hopefully if you give it a try, uh, you will get a different and better experience. I don't know why. Maybe right now it's weird. I, normally, in, I in my setup, I have multiple different um, computers from different companies, but I'm almost all Dell at the moment. I, that that sort of happened gradually. I wasn't really aware of it. I, it wasn't a plan. Like it just sort of happened, and I'm like, oh wait, I don't really have a lot of other things uh, to install things on. So that may it may just be a Dell problem. I don't know. Uh, the good news is you can download it for free to test drive it. So. You don't have to like put out money if you want to give this a try, but um, that is definitely uh, the one thing I wanted to warn you is that I can't speak from experience because I couldn't even get it installed. Bummer, I know. The other one that I found is called, I think it's Animes. So let me bring this, this one. And this one is a little bit closer, I think, to what you know people would be looking for who were using Snap Camera because it, it is that, you see, this, it's the more animated kind of thing and it works you know, on all the places, which you would definitely want. So it's, it's coming in as a computer source as well. Um, and so you can play with it and do different things with it and which is cool. And so I did give this a test drive and it does work. Um, I didn't put it on this system because I'm running snap camera so we could do this conversation, but I did test it and it does work. But the other thing that I thought was cool about this company is so Amaze desktop is what you would use if you're looking for a replacement for snap camera. Now I will say they don't have as many different options for free as far as the overlays and um, the, the faces and that kind of stuff, um, but you can buy them for a reasonable price, um, different ones. And they may up their game now that Snap Camera's going away. I'm gonna keep an eye on this company and see. They also offer a, a software development kick. So if you are a developer out there and you're curious about, you know, maybe capitalizing on this a little bit, that is certainly an option. Um, so it works on uh, the uh, iPhones, but this is the other thing I thought was interesting. So they actually give you an, an animator that you can use to build out your own avatars. So that might be fun to play with. You know, if you're really into this kind of stuff and you, and you want to use it in a lot of different places, that kind of a tool might be really, really handy. Um, I didn't get meant to go and check and see. Let me just look real quick. Um, yeah, there's, there's no mention of cost. So uh, that's kind of super cool. So uh, that's a nice little additional piece that you would get with that tool. And again, all the links are in the description, so you can go ahead and check that out. Um, but that is probably, that that is the closest thing that I found to what Snap Camera offered. 
um because i'm going to talk about it in past tense now uh but you know this kind of a thing where you talk i will say that most of the ones that i was able to play with for free the one thing that i was bummed about was what's what's cool about this is i'm still in my environment i'm just different right but with the other ones, uh, with, with this one in particular, at least the ones I could play with for free, they all came with a background. So my background went away, right? And th then I got the animation and all that kind of stuff. So that may not be a bad trade-off for people. This was just fun because it always took me, and even like the folks who were here for, for the opening, um, it always takes people a couple of seconds to go, wait, what, what's, is something different? Um, because this one's pretty subtle, right? I mean, if I had started the stream with this, that right away you would have known that it was a filter but the fun thing or, or you know something like this right i'm just too glamorous for myself uh but when you do something that's like this it's a little bit more so people are like wait 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 something's wrong and, and there were ones that were like more subtle than this like this one is, uh, is clearly like you know like my neck is not that long i wish it was <laughs> So, you know, um, but that that right now is the best option I can give you. So uh, I have to look over here and read. So Marcus says, if you build a Kathleen avatar, uh, I could make a takeover stream on your channel. Oh, that's funny. That's a funny idea, actually. I might That would be fun to play with. Um, and then Gamer Paradise is saying, uh, definitely going to check out Amaze now. Thank you. Yeah, you're absolutely welcome. Um, I do have one more thing that I'm going to just kind of clue you in on it um, as another option that I found um, in a second. But yeah, th those are the two that I recommend. Like I said, the links are in the description. So let me tell you about, wait one second, did that go away? It did, okay. It's very hard because I, I, you know, I had to put the webcam like where I'm normally looking at my own camera. And so it's very hard for me to see all the things. So I apologize for the, the slightly jankiness there. All right. Um, all right, so I do want to give you one more option. Now I will preface this by saying it does require a little bit of, a very little bit of comfort level of working on your computer um, because you're gonna have to like save some files and, and move them into certain places. And if you wanna be really, really secure um, and, and keep um, Instagram from reaching out and killing your application, um, it does require a little bit of thing, but I'm not going to go in through and show you because I found somebody online that does a stellar job of walking you through what to do if you do really, really want to keep this. So the, the short version of it is, um, the, again, the link is in the description. I will show you uh, the website. Uh, it's a YouTube video. Um, it's this uh, YouTube person uh, goes by the name Nutty, N-U-T-T-Y. Um, and like I said, the URL is in the description, but he does a fantastic job of walking you through step by step how to, you know, make sure that you've got, you know, uh, snap camera installed uh, and like useful tips, like not only that, but make sure you download the downloader so that if you want to put it on another machine later, you'll have that available because they're going to take away the, the link to do the download uh, like any minute if they haven't already. But he also talks about how you can save the different filters. So let me, well, let me just, I'll first I'll show you. No, oh, come here. Is that not working now? Hang on. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got it back. Um, so this is the one, like I said, the link is in the description and I linked you to that section, but he's also using um, chapters, which I know, I know I need to start doing. So you can actually use this. So backing up your lenses is the part, part that you want to look at. Um, I highly recommend like looking at his whole video. It's not terribly long um, and he covers a lot. So it's a little over 11 minutes, but he does a really nice job. So rather than me try to figure it out and explain it to you, I'm just pointing you to him because he did such a great job with it. Uh, so you can go and check that out. Um, so wait, where I was going someplace with this. Ah, where was I going? Okay, I'll hopefully it'll come back to me. But what you're going to end up doing is uh, you're going to come in and like he's going to walk you through saving all of your favorites. Now you're not going to be able to save every single one of the filters that are out there, but he's going to show you you know how to save them down, um, where to put them, and then he's going to walk you through how to move them onto you know put them in a, a folder and also back them up so that you've got access to them later. Uh, so yeah, I just, I cannot highly, more highly recommend him. He did a really excellent job. 
Um, but it, it's just a matter of going to go in and you're going to save the ones. So what I've been doing, because I think I'm going to do this, I've been going in and playing with the different ones. And let's try that one. So, all right, I've got a dog on my head now. So what I've been doing is I've been coming in and I've been uh, favoriting the one. So if you hit this little star here, it adds it to your favorites. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to build out all of my favorite ones and then just save those down. Because there's a bunch of different ones. You can go in and they've got different categories. There's a search up here if you want to search for a particular thing. But you notice like this app was snappier before, no pun intended. Um, and it's a little laggy now, but like, you know, we've got corn face. So, you know, here I am as a piece of corn. Hello, I'm corn. Um, I can be an alien. So, yeah, so you could just come in here and you could just save it. And then that you, you know, it'll, if you, I'm sorry, if you favorite it, I think it'll make it easier for you to save them down because he talks about how to do all this kind of stuff in there. Um, and plus it just makes it easier to come and find them. Okay. Let me come back here. Um, so, so yeah, basically that, oh, okay. So you, you, uh, you, yeah, I, I've been checking out some of this stuff. I, this was the, I just found him because I was searching for this. And I am absolutely enjoying his content. Like I'm going to follow him now because I'm really, really enjoying his content. Um, so that's cool. I, I, it's cool that you already know him. So see, he comes pre-vetted by Jason. That's awesome. Okay, so that's basically all I have. Let me just double check my notes because I, my brain is telling me I forgot to say something. But just give me one second here. Um, nope, that's it. So he'll walk you through all of that um, if you're interested in actually saving it for yourself. I would just strongly recommend, and you know, depending on when in the future you're watching this, it may be a moot point, but um, if you're watching this shortly after I've recorded it, um, I would do this fairly quickly because on January 25th, they are going to pull the plug and it may get harder, if not impossible, to do these kinds of things. So that is what I have for you. I wish it was, again, I wish it was better news. Um, I wish that, like, there was this astounding, like, no problem, go ahead and just switch to this and it'll do everything, you know, that you've been doing. Uh, at that at this point, we don't have it. I will keep an eye out. And if I do find something, I will come and let you know. But right now, this is what we've got uh, to work with. And at least it does give you an option if you do want to keep it, you know, running. Um, it's just a little bit of work that you got to put in in order to uh, make sure that you've got it everything locally ready to go uh, so that you're not relying on their servers for anything because those are going to go away. All right. Anybody have any questions? I know there's a handful of you out here live. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, or if there's another filter you want to see before I go. Um, but otherwise, I am going to go and uh, do the things that are on my to-do list that are a thousand miles high. Um, okay, so does it look like anybody has anything else? Um, I don't, I'm, I would love to hear if you're, don't mind, like in the comments, I would love to know if you've ever used anything like this um, and what people's reaction was. Uh, it is <laughs> in the right situation. It's a lot of fun and uh, a nice change of pace too. So it's just something to think about. All right, everybody. So I'm sorry to say, you know, for the too long didn't read folks, uh, Snap Camera is going away January 25th, 2023. So if you rely on it, go check my description, uh, go check the description to get the links for alternatives that I found of various success and a link to Nutty who does a phenomenal, phenomenal job of telling you how you can back this up so that you'll be able to get a little bit more life out of this particular app. Okay. Thank you all so much. I, I hope you enjoyed this and um, I will be back as myself uh, next week. I am here every Thursday at 8 p.m. Um, I always bring a topic. You are always welcome to come and hang out live if you'd like. Um, ask questions either on topic or off topic, as long as the topic is somewhere connected to technology, because that's what we talk about here. Um, so, and if you have any comments, questions. If you have a topic you want me to cover, you can go to yourtechcoach.com. There is a contact form there. You can go ahead and fill that out. Um, you can also, you know, let me know if you, um, if you need any help, you can go and you can uh, get an appointment. So I do consulting online um, and we start off with a discovery call so we can figure out what it is that maybe I would be able to help you with. And then if I am, we'll, you know, go ahead and I'll send you some options and some pricing. So uh, feel free to reach out if there's anything I can do to help you. Um, otherwise, enjoy your avatar while it lasts, and we will talk again soon. Bye.